Hey guys, this is Mike from YBI, and today I'm going to be talking about making kombucha at home. It's something easy to do, uh, it's something you can do yourself. It's a great DIY project, teaches you a lot about fermentation process. Um, if you're ever interested in getting into beer or any other type uh, distilling, uh, biofuels, anything like that, it's, it's a great little project to do. And it makes a great drink that is normally very expensive. I love kombucha, but they try to charge like $4 a bottle. So I'm trying to make it myself because it doesn't really cost that much to make. So I was under the impression, like a lot of people, that you have to buy a SCOBY at first, which SCOBY is an acronym which stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. And it's, it's a mouthful. Uh... So I called up a brewery, um, a kombucha brewery, and asked them about getting some scobies from leftover from their process. They said, we don't sell them, but all you have to do is buy a bottle of kombucha and drink like three quarters of it. And uh, so that's what I did. Now I've got some delicious kombucha. Um, I chose the GTS. Synergy kombucha that you can get from any grocery store, Whole Foods, Harris Teeter, whatever, Piggly Wiggly, whatever you have all around the country. Um, a lot of places carry this. Walmart, Target. I bought this at Target, so most places have Walmart and Target. Um, not endorsing any grocery stores. Uh, so I poured that out, and then what I had left from my bottle right here... I then uh, poured into these jars right here. So I brewed kombucha a long time back and I actually used a one gallon jar of Vlasic pickles and not endorsing them either. And gives you a lot of extra pickles. Uh, I became popular in my apartment complex by gifting everyone pickles because I'm not a big fan of pickles, and there's far more pickles than I could ever eat. And so I, I gave all the pickles away, because I don't want to waste them. And so that, that experiment did not work so hot. Um, it, I had bought a SCOBY off Craigslist and bought it for about five bucks. Kind of felt like I was doing a little uh, hippie drug deal, but... Uh, <laughs> I found some bugs in, that had gotten into it. Uh, I guess I didn't have a good air barrier over the, the kombucha or something went wrong. And so I kind of gave up for a few years and now I wanna, wanna give, give a shot at it again and hopefully help educate you guys. And so this time I got, this is just kind of a luxury item. I, I got these heavy duty, uh, these are jars from Target, and they have these little nozzles right here, uh, so you can just dispense it straight from the fermentation chamber. And those are actually t-shirts that I cut up. Uh, I used cheesecloth the first time, which I don't know if that might have been part of the problem. Um, and I didn't have rubber bands, so I used electrical tape. So hopefully uh, when I get rich, I can save up and get some rubber bands. But, so we got our starter in here, and we're gonna let this sit for a week. And that should turn into kind of like a jelly. It'll look like a little jellyfish, and that's called the mother. And then we'll do our brew of black tea, green tea. A lot of people use black or green tea or mix the two. Um, you add a little sugar, and you heat it up to like a boiling temperature. And you have to cool it down before you mix it with the SCOBY because the SCOBY is a living, um, it's bacteria and yeast. And if you're familiar with the beer brewing process at all, uh, you always have to cool the, uh, the brew that you boil down to a room temperature before you mix in the yeast or it will kill the yeast. So this is a fermentation process using living creatures. And so um, it's, Kombucha has a lot of good uh, bacteria in it for gut. It, I mean, people make a lot of interesting claims about uh, some of the benefits, but there are definitely benefits. Uh, my mom takes it um, for 
like uh, stomach issues that she has, and it it really helps with like acid reflux and all that kind of stuff for her. And she's tried all this different medicine, and I was as shocked as anyone to hear that she was drinking kombucha. But um, definitely something great off grid. Uh, you know, you can just make yourself, and you don't have to pay exorbitant amounts of money for. Uh, people have commoditized it into this luxury good, but definitely something easy to make from home. And so the next video, we'll be making the, the kombucha and pouring it in here, and you'll see that process.